Okay, so it's day 60 of this sweet potato germination experiment. And as you can see, uh, on the left there, vine 3 is on its way. But here is an illustration of this problem I've had where a lot of leaves appear droopy in both numbers 1 and 2 in terms of the most largely developed vines. Um, yeah, these leaves will go all droopy. There's still plenty of water in the watering tray. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I assume the roots must be deep, so water shouldn't be a problem, but they kind of droop like this. Maybe it's just too hot during the day. Um, but then again, you know, I'll check it the next day and everything will be all perky, like these leaves up here. So I don't know what the deal is. Uh, maybe, you know, once they get into the shade, then that happens and the leaves that are in the sun have too much transpiration, too much evaporation through the stomata on the underside of their leaves. And that causes a loss of turgor pressure that's only temporary, only a few hours long. But otherwise everything's going really well. Okay, it's day 67 of this sweet potato germination experiment. And things don't look too good, all the leaves are droopy, but that's just because it's so hot right now. It's uh, in the middle of June. And these leaves just have this tendency to become droopy from... Uh, stomata evaporation during the day when the sun beats down directly on them and you can see these leaves in the shade now that have been in the shade for a few hours uh, they're starting to perk up again so that's just how this works um, it goes through the cycle like every day but you know this tray is a uh, watering tray is dry already and I'm just gonna water and fill up that tray alright so I just filled in the tray until it's completely full and that should help out with things a lot by tomorrow morning all of these leaves will be perked up again so there's four shoot systems as far as I can tell you know this is the oldest one the most robust it's very long it goes from here all the way up to there you know and it goes into the pot there um, here's number two it's also quite long and robust uh, Number three kind of hangs down and goes here. It's pretty easy to tell by the trail of purple leaves at the shoot of Gomera stem. So that's number four right there, and that's a late bloomer. So I don't really know if these all belong to the same plant or is this four plants. So we'll see what happens. But you know, this thing is very prolific. Out of all my plants, this is by far the fastest grower. So I'm pretty excited to see uh, where this thing will be in like a month or two. Okay, so you'll notice that that corner on my balcony is completely empty now. It's still kind of in the sun. You know, it's 6 p.m. And the shade comes from this wall. So what I did is I moved my sweet potato vines to this location right against the wall. Same as the ginger. If you follow that series, they've been doing a lot better than the last two weeks due to reduced sun exposure. So it's quite amazing, but all of these leaves have perked up already. And you know, when I picked up this pot a few minutes ago and just moved it over, I expected all the sloshing like I did with my honeydew plant, which I just moved to here because uh, I filled this tray to the brim and I expected water to kind of splash out, but it didn't. That means the soil was extremely dry and hundreds of mLs of that water got soaked into the soil immediately. So I'm just amazed at how within like five, ten minutes, you know, everything has perked up already. I really wasn't indoors for that many minutes. And, you know, it's always stunning to see how fast uh, life reacts to a change in the environment. So all this light you see here uh, shining on these leaves, um, it's basically off this uh, glass sliding door reflection. So that essentially is like a large solar reflector. I didn't take this into account in the early days, you know, when I had those solar reflectors, I didn't know that if I had these outside, they'd have sort of the same effect, but just in this spot, you know, not here and not over there for the ginger. So maybe at different times of the day, depending on the angle of the sun, if you look up now, it's like that. Um, yeah, so different areas will be illuminated, but these are still getting a decent amount of light to photosynthesize with. 